The future of Bend, Oregon is density. Get ready for density, higher traffic, narrower roads, and homes on smaller lots. Hi, my name is Norris Bangler. I'm a realtor with Stellar Realty Northwest here in Bend, and I'm here to update you today on what's going on with the growth and the density in Bend, Oregon. Now, let me get out my crystal ball for a minute, and I'm going to predict that the population of Bend, Oregon is going to increase to about 158,000 people. That's about half again the size that we are now. We're just over 100,000. So imagine adding 50,000 more people to the city of Bend. Where are they gonna live? What roads are they gonna drive on? How is this going to work? How are we all going to get around? Let's talk about it. So back in 1973, there was a law passed in the Oregon legislature that mandates planning for all the cities have to make a plan, a comprehensive plan, and it has to go through and be passed by the legislature for the growth that they want to have happen in the next 20 years. So if we want to add more land inside the city boundaries of Bend, we have to go through the state and this long, laborious process that sometimes ends up in them saying, no, you can't add that much land. So the UGB or the urban growth boundary is the line, the thick black line on the maps that we'll be looking at that outlines what is contained within the city of Bent. And we can only add land into inside that black line upon this approval process. So let's look at some areas where land has been added so we will be able to provide more homes in the near future. So let's go to the north end of town first. And this is where it's pretty exciting. We are getting a brand new Costco up at the north end of town at the corner of Cooley Road and Highway 20 where they just put in a couple giant new roundabouts which are pretty spiffy if you haven't driven over there. And there's going to be a new Polish home community along with retail, some light industrial and other things, but a whole Polish residential community called Caraway. Hey, if you like my channel and the information I provide in these videos, would you give this one a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll get notified every week when I make a new video. So over in Northeast Bend is another Polish community that's been building for a couple years now. Um, they still haven't built the commercial section that's at the corner there, but Petrosa has been going for a couple years and still has many homes still to be built. And it was brought into the urban growth boundary on the last round of approvals, which I believe happened in 2016. I'm really interested in what you think the city of Bend should do to handle the growth that is coming and one way or the other it's coming to Bend and we have to deal with it so what are your thoughts what should we do should we make Bend bigger and add more land in or should we densify which is pretty much the plan right now we're going to get more dense and higher they are going to allow taller and taller buildings in Bend now back to the east side actually southeast which is the part of town I live in. So this one greatly concerns me because I know it's going to just enormously impact the traffic on Reed Market, which is the road that borders the edge of my little development. And I have trouble getting out onto Reed Market already. So Stevens Ranch or Stevens Road is going to be huge. And all of the people, thousands and thousands of people, I think 2,500 homes units are planned for this track of land, plus um, a new library, which is great, right? A huge, brand new, beautiful library will be built over there. But all the people that live over there are still going to want to head west and go downtown into Drake Park into the old mill and you know shop downtown and they have to get to the north end of town as well and really they're going to come over on Reed Market and I just really don't look forward to the traffic problems that are going to just get worse and worse so that is the direction that Bend is headed is to densify and um, to add these huge developments and honestly 
there's no place that they can increase the size of the road. I gathered all this information from a meeting that realtors were invited to at City Hall um, this week. And so the person who gave the presentation when asked the question, what can you do about congestion and traffic from these huge developments that you're building on the edge of town, he answered, uh, yeah, nothing. We can't do anything. There's really nothing they can do except add more roundabouts. Yeah, that's the solution is add more roundabouts so traffic will flow better, supposedly. But honestly, it's I'm planning on it just really being a nightmare for me to even get out of my housing track um, to get anywhere in the next few years. And there is one more area of town that um, this is right in the middle of town. It's not been added recently to the UGB, but I just thought it was worth mentioning because it's a huge development and it is going to change the feel of the area of the old mill and the area between the old mill and downtown. There are two projects. One is called Jack Straw, which is happening right now. So let's head up Bond Street in the old mill area, coming around this corner, and you're going to see the tall pillars where they are building the Jack Straw right next to the box factory. And if you're familiar with Spoken Moto, um, that was a business that was located right here and they removed the historic building and that will come alive again somewhere else. But this is going to be a large mixed use project, a six story building with about 300 plus units in it, apartments and condos, and then retail and other things down below, office space included. And the other one is just starting to go up and it's called Timber Yards. There's going to be a 180 room hotel. There's going to be seven story tall buildings. Yeah, it's gonna just completely change the look and feel of the old mill area. And if you're familiar with where Crux Fermentation Project is, um, right next to Highway 97, it's that area that's been empty for ages. There will be retail and office space and apartments and condos. No single family, no townhomes. Sort of like a mini Pearl District, if you're familiar with Portland and the Pearl District there. it's It just feels really big city to me and I'm not sure I'm gonna like it, but you know, I still love Bend. I still love living here. There are still so many great reasons to move to Bend, but I do admit that I hear a lot of talk of people saying they are leaving Bend because of the growth and the change, and they just don't like it anymore. So whichever side of that equation you're on, if you're leaving or you're coming to Bend, uh, please reach out to me if you have questions about real estate. I'm here to help. Once again, if you like my channel, would you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will hope to see you again next week.